Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the video. Here today we are going to show you how to um, change the boot up sound in your PS3. Now some of these boot up sounds actually go with um, some of these images that were released with the XMB Extras Mod Collection. So if you look at some of the images that are here, um, you can kind of figure out when you look at the folder of the sounds which ones go where. It's actually a folder called uh, 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 Transformers Transforming that would go with um, uh, the Retro Prime and Megatron and then you have the Harley Quinn uh, sound folder. You'll see that here in a little bit. So that goes with this one. Uh, and then we have like the little mini Jason and whatnot. And then we have the, the Pac-Man Retro, which this is, uh, this is actually the one I'm going to demonstrate now. And then you have the Joker as well as Mario and Godzilla and Sega. Now, not all of these images have sounds. When this was originally made by Obi-Wan, um, he, he put together um, this collection and I, of course, in this Redux version added to it. But um, neither of us added sound because this was primarily visually based and so everything here is uh you know like the waves the icons and stuff it's all visual stuff and you can't well you can't see the sound and you can't play the sound bite here from the xmb so it didn't make sense to add them here so anyway i'm going to show you how to add them here in a bit so what i did was i already chose the uh, pac-man uh retro deal all right and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the sound to it. So unzip the file, go ahead and put it on your USB flash drive. I'm also going to um, uh, show you how to do this uh, via FTP. So you can follow along uh, for those of you who are going to FTP. But if you are going to FTP, make sure you go into the Rebug Toolbox. Um, and Because uh, we're going to be writing to the dev flash. So we're going to be writing to our flash. And the way you do that is through the dev rebug folder that will show up on your FTP program when um, you are in the rebug toolbox. Um, for the rest of you, go ahead and put that unzipped folder into your USB flash drive, and then I'm going to meet you over at Multiman. Okay, so we're going to go into the Multiman file manager, and uh, the right thumbstick moves this arrow around, the left thumbstick moves the open window around, okay? And we'll go into the USB 000, yours might say 001, depending on where you put it. Um, and then you should have this folder here that says one custom startup sound. So just press X one time, then hit circle and press X because copy is already highlighted and we'll say one entry added. Now you can hit D, I mean uh, left on the D pad, it'll bring you back. We're going to go to dev HDD0 and those of you who are FTP can follow along. And then here in the dev HDD0, we can put the folder right here. So just put your arrow up here on the top bar, hit circle, paste is already highlighted, press X, and it will paste the folder. Now mine is already right here. I have a different one here. Uh, well, I have another one here. This is kind of like my personal stash, but yours will um, uh, have it right up on top. I put the one so that way it's always on top and it's easy to find. But you can literally name this folder anything you want. You can also put this folder on your... Uh, a phone, on your tablet, whatever, your PC, if you want to quickly FTP uh, the sound bytes into your PS3, you know, from your smart device or whatever. Plus, I'm going to show you something here when we go into the folder. I, I worked a little bit on all these folders. Every folder will have two things. It will have one a subfolder in it called boot up sounds, and these are the two files that will be transferred into the PS. And then you will see a sample MP3. The sample MP3 will be the actual sound that you'll hear when your PS3 boots up. Now I didn't make all these sounds. These came from various places around the community and some of them um, may get cut off. I saw that some of them were like nine, 10 seconds long. The ones I made are only six, seven seconds or so because it needs to be less than eight seconds. Otherwise, anything more than eight seconds will get cut off. So I can vouch for everybody else's sound, but the ones I made definitely work, um, and they get cut off right uh, when they should. So um, if you want to listen to the sound, you can, of course, on your smart device or on your uh, PC, go ahead and double-click the MP3, and it'll play. Unfortunately, that doesn't work when we double-click here in the PS3. Um, 
the only way really that people were doing this was to just pick it, pick the sound, boot up your PS3 and listen to it, and then pick the next sound, boot it up again, and that's just ridiculous. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this like it is, and let's go down here to where it says Showtime and double press X. Okay, and now here we're going to go over to where it says PS3 HDD. And look at that. There's a folder right there. Now you can press X, and here are all the sound folders. And now you can play the MP3s. So when we come here to Alienware, we can go to Sample and press X. All right, and the sound will play. So now you can see which one you want. You can go through them one by one and just play them. And then when you get to the one you want, just remember which one it is. In this case, the one I want here actually says Pac-Man and Retro. This one goes with um, the Pac-Man boot up image. And uh, you have the Mini Jason, you have Harley Quinn, you have the Godzilla one. So again, not all of them will have one, but they're kind of easy to figure out which one goes with which. But you can use any soundbite with any image. It really doesn't matter. So right here, I know that I'm going to pick this one. So um, I don't need to play the sound. So to when you're done, you're just going to back out to exit, hit circle uh, until you get here. Press triangle and then go down to exit movie in and press X. Now at this point, we need to write to the dev flash. So before we do anything else, let's go over when you're ready to write to the dev flash. Uh, come over here to games and double press X and scroll over to the second column. Let me change the background, that way you can see it better. There we go. Move over to the second column and either scroll all the way down or scroll up till you get to the bottom and you're gonna go to write access to dev flash and pick enabled. When you're in regular multi-man mode, it'll be here, it'll be like the third or second one down. In Cobra mode, it's the last one. So click enable, let's go back to file manager, okay? We're gonna leave this window open, just hit uh, just hit the uh, left on the D-pad once. Actually, there was another way to do that. Um, let's go back into it. You could have just gone to the little uh, directory one here with the two dots and it would have gone back up. Okay, so um, now that we're here, I'm gonna go into, and the D-pad scrolls down, by the way. You can use the D-pad to scroll down and up. Here's the Pac-Man one. The boot up sounds folders, remember, those will always have the two files you need. So there they are. Press X one time and X one time on each one. Press circle. Copies highlighted. Press X. Now you can hit left on the D-pad once, left on the D-pad again, again, and then one more time. And then here is the dev blind. So we're going to go into that. Those of you who are using this via the rebug, um, we'll go into dev rebug, and it will be the same as it is here. So everyone will go into VSH, the last one, then resource, and that's it. You're here where you need to be. Go up here to the top line, hit circle, press, uh, paste is already highlighted, so just press X and just hit yes. And it will paste both. Always make sure to use both. By the way, you're writing and you're messing to the with the dev flash, don't make a mistake or you will break your PS. If you are in the de if you are in the rebug toolbox, you need to go to the first column, go to restart system or system restart, uh, select it, and then pick full reboot and reboot your system. Here in multi-man, we're gonna go to games. We're gonna go to the second column and we're going to disable writing to dev flash. And now we're gonna do a full reboot. Always do a full reboot. And the restart system automatically does a full reboot. Alrighty, so there you go. We got our uh, Pac-Man boot up sound and that's, that's it. That's how it works. Pretty simple, right? So anyway, um, that's it. That's all that you need to do to change your sounds. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to actually take a soundbite that you created and put it into the PS3 and then after that I'll show you how to change the boot up image as well. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching and um, just don't forget to do a thumbs up and subscribe.